Hey everyone, Wayne the Slot here, and I am doing the 40 Chicken Nugget Challenge. I was challenged by Lucky Dog Slots, which was actually Brandon's idea. If you go to Lucky Dog Slots video and you watch it all the way through, at the end, they're trying to decide who the third channel is that they're going to challenge, and Brandon turns his head and lips my name. So I was crossing my fingers. I wasn't going to get called, but I ended up getting called. So 40 chicken nuggets. Um, that's hey, hey, everybody. Um, yeah, I know. 40 chicken nuggets. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say, but... Um, Okay, hey, he's not happy, so um, I guess we'll just get this started, all right? All right, so I have um, four boxes of 10 nuggets each, um, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I, I have not eaten all day, so I got some ranch dressing. Um, so we'll see how this um, works out. All right. I know. Go away. Go away. Don't bug me. All right. So let's start with the first one. At <sighs> Are you going to do this the entire time? I guess so. All right. Uh, give me a second. I can't do it this way. All right. All right. I took care of Hey Hey. I covered up his eyes so he cannot see what I'm doing. All right. So let's get this officially started. Here's the first box of 10. I have not had chicken nuggets in a long time. Have you guys seen the video of how chicken nuggets are made? It's by a guy named Corey. And he was on um, that show Mythbusters. And um, he actually goes to the Tyson plant where they make the chicken nuggets. Really interesting. Wow. Brandon, I'm impressed you, I mean, um, Lucky Dog, I'm impressed that you got 40. I'm only three in. Did not eat lunch in anticipation of this. Probably won't eat breakfast tomorrow either. Mm -hmm. So how's everyone doing? It's good. This is sort of like my first mukbang video. So halfway through, I feel like this is a bonus. Halfway through, five left. Feels like I ate ten already. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So I looked up on Popeyes because I really wanted to get Popeyes nuggets. And there's a guy who did a top 10 chicken nuggets from worst to best. And Popeyes chicken nuggets was fourth. So um, I thought, okay, great. I have a Popeyes right down the street. So I get in the drive-thru. They don't have chicken nuggets. So I'm like, all right, I don't need anything else. I only came for the nuggets, but you don't have it. So I wonder if it's just territorial, you know, certain areas. So. And then Wendy's was all the way across town. Wendy's was the number one on that list. Number two was McDonald's. Number three was Chick-fil-A. And number four was Popeye's. And, um... I think Jason and Brandon did Burger King, right? I think theirs was like six on the list or something.
And they had a couple other places that had chicken rings. So. And for those of you who think that McDonald's chicken nuggets isn't real chicken, I'm going to post the link below. You can watch the video. It's actually real chicken. It was an interesting process how they did it. All right. First box gone. Mm -hmm. Second box. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you guys can help me out, I'm trying to get to... 5,500 subscribers by my birthday, November 4th. I'll be 55. And um, I bet 4265 or something is the, the day I'm recording this. So I need about 1,300 more, or actually less than 1,300. And I can't get there by myself. So if you guys can just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell notification, that'd be amazing. I would really appreciate it. Um, I plan on doing a birthday celebration, um, probably at Salmon Well, and I want to do a huge live stream. I was thinking about doing a $5,500 live stream, but I don't know budget-wise if I can pull that off. But maybe I can do a $550 one. We'll see. The ranch dressing is not that bad. It's ranch dressing, right? How do you screw up ranch dressing? How you doing? Hey, hey. Still blindfolded. Can you see anything? All right. Okay, go back there. Can you smell anything? No? Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, got six more left. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of you have been going to Vegas. I think it's amazing. I don't think I'm going to get to Vegas this year. Um... One of my highlights is going to Dottie's, and because they're a bar top facility, the governor has closed all bar top um, services. So all the Dottie's are closed. Because typically what I do is I go to Vegas, um, and uh, if my friend Lindsay and her husband you know, meet me at the same time. We did this last year. We met at the airport. We basically landed at the airport 10 minutes apart. So we met up and then we headed over to Dottie's and um, <clears throat> gambled there for a couple hours and right at, just right across the street from the Silverton Casino. There's an In-N-Out burger there. So we went ahead in and out And then we went back to the Cosmo and started playing. And um, they've been back a couple times since, and they've made it a tradition. So um, as many times as I've gone to Dottie's or gone to Vegas, I've always had Dottie's be my first stop after I dropped my bags off at the at the concierge, concierge desk. Two more. Mm-hmm. Mm. You definitely don't want to fill up on water, that's for sure. Fortunately, their breading is a tempera breading. So it's not as heavy as a... Um, 
cornmeal or other breading that other places do. All right, two down. Two to go. Number three. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, those last 10 are gonna be horrible. I'm starting to feel it. No wonder Brandon bowed out halfway through. Good effort though. And if you saw the video, Lucky Dog video. The facial expressions Brandon was making when he was eating it was hysterical. So as I eat these, I have a couple channels in mind already. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if I didn't make it through would I have the right to challenge somebody? I don't think it would be fair. But I don't plan on failing. Ugh, unless my stomach tells me I'm going to fail. All right, six left. So many people were telling me in the chat video, or the comments in the chat, I'm sorry, I think I'm getting food delirious already. In the comments of Lucky Dog's video, they said, don't do the challenge, but you know, it's chicken nuggets, so. No more food challenges, Ross says what? Make it drinking challenges. I like the three shot challenge last time. That was fun. <laughs> but that came from a couple in Canada. That started that. So I indulge in number 26. So I want to say thank you, Lucky Dog, for nominating me. I typically don't eat McDonald's. I'll do Carl's Jr. But once in a while, Burger King. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. mm. Look, little boots. They look like cowboy boots. I wonder who that channel's going to be. Hmm. This is the last one. Oh my god, the next 10 are going to be horrible. All right. Three down. <clears throat> one to go. See, Lucky Dog was smart. He was standing up when he was doing this. I'm sitting down, so I feel like my stomach is kind of pressed down. <sighs> wow. All right. Ugh. Last 10. Mm 
I don't know how these food eaters do this, but you know, you ever seen the videos of those people that there's a gal named Raina. Raina, um, I know she goes by hashtag Raina is crazy, but I don't remember her name. It's Raina something, but that girl can eat and she's like this skinny Asian girl. I think the only thing that defeated her that I saw was the 20 pounds of donuts. <laughs> I have seven left to go. It's gonna be tough. Serious. If you don't remember what Lucky Dog's face was towards the end, that's exactly how I feel. I might need more water. Oh, thank God there's a small one. I mean, yeah. See, normally when you buy a 10 piece, you want all the big pieces, right? This is the one time I'm happy I got a small piece. Okay, five left. <laughs> I'm glad I did not eat lunch. If I would eat lunch, I'd be lucky to get through a 10 piece. <sighs> so if any of you are thinking of coming down south, I'm going to be at Sam Manuel uh, September 6th and 7th. Uh, probably half a day on the 7th, because that's the Monday, Labor Day Monday. Um, I think the 5th, the 5th is a Saturday. So that is, um, I'm going to head up there, stay at the hotel, the 5th and 6th. And then, no, their hotel's not open, it's the Bear Springs. Four left, uh, the Bear Springs, and then I'm going to go uh, probably live stream on the morning of the 6th, and then hang out and gamble, and drink, and then um, go back to the hotel in the morning of the 7th, which will be that Monday morning Labor Day, probably do another live stream, depending on how good the casino has been to me. And then um, go home in the afternoon. So if you're going to be in the area, come on over, say hi. Oh my God, I'm literally sick to my stomach right now. Hmm. Two left. Left. Seriously, don't know if I'm going to get this down. That constant taste. I don't even want sauce.
The water helps get all the spices and stuff off your tongue because it becomes to get coated. Last one. No. All four gone. 40 nuggets. All right. Now, who am I going to pick for this challenge? Texan Jack Potter Slots. You're on. Uh, Billy D Slot Channel. You're the next one. And then, um,. I really don't. Oh, I know. <laughs> but this might be easier for you guys. So I'm going to nominate Casanova Slots, uh, John and Ashley. Um, so between the two of you, you guys can eat 40. So 20 each. So it makes it easier for you. So, But I'm going to put a little twist on it because you're two people. After every 10 that you eat, you have to take a shot of alcohol. How's that? All right, so let's check in on Hey Hey. Hey Hey. All right, let me take your blindfold off. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, so, so look, I finished. What do you think? Yeah, I'm sorry. But... All right, see you guys.